Hey there, class of 2020, Mr. Behrman here giving you a second update of commencement information for the class of 2020. Obviously, a lot's changed since the last time uh, that I was able to give you an update, so let's recap kind of where our uh, schedule is heading from now. So, obviously, we had originally began preparations of the planning for a parade through town on May 29th. Unfortunately, based on uh, some things that have occurred since then, uh, predominantly the stay-at-home order being extended by Governor Whitmer through May 28th, as well as the rolling out of her six phases of reopening the state of Michigan. Uh, we are currently in stage uh, phase three. In order to have any type of large assembly, uh, we would have to be in phase five. We do not anticipate being in phase five at the time of May 29th. So after consulting with local authorities as well as health experts, uh, we have made the determination that we will not be holding any large-scale events uh, in the days around May 29th. So unfortunately, that includes any type of parade through town. It just was not worth uh, risking the health of our students, our staff, our parents, and, and basically our community as a whole. Uh, so that's the bad news. Um, the good news is, is that we do have some, some real unique ways that we're going to celebrate the class of 2020 given uh, the current conditions in the state of Michigan. First, beginning tomorrow, May the 13th, again, we'll be giving cap and gowns tomorrow, but alongside that, beginning uh, tomorrow morning on the billboard on M32 in front of McDonald's, Home Depot, Walmart, we will begin scrolling uh, photographs and names of the class of 2020. Each student will, will be displayed along with three other classmates per slide. We have split it by alphabet to maximize uh, visibility. So beginning tomorrow, uh, last names A through L will begin scrolling. And then on Thursday, last names uh, M through Z will begin to scroll. And every other day we will scroll uh, with that alphabetical order. So pop on over there and uh, catch a glimpse of, of your favorite graduate as they scroll by. And that will be going on through May 31st. May 29th is the scheduled last day of school for the class of 2020. We will be doing a final Friday night salute in Wildcat Stadium. The lights will be turned on, the scoreboard will be turned on in honor of the class of 2020, and we will be scrolling uh, the slideshow through on the scoreboard so that each student will have their name uh, displayed on the scoreboard in a rotation. Uh, we will be Facebook living that event, so you'll be able to pop on over to the Alpena High School Facebook page and, and watch that as it scrolls by. Unfortunately, due to uh, concerns of large crowds, the, the doors and, and the uh, gates will be locked into the stadium and into the parking lots, so that we do ask that you uh, check out Facebook Live in order to, to peep in on the salute to our seniors on May 29th. Um, so that is what we have going on that week. May 31st, which was the uh, always has been the scheduled commencement date for the class of 2020. We're going to keep that date. At 1.30 p.m., we will be doing a virtual commencement uh, using Zoom. And, of course, we'll get that information out on our website and social media with the link once we have that finalized. But, again, at 1.30 p.m., and we have some other plans we're working on. Uh, to roll out for alternate venues for you to view uh, this event. And as we have more information, we will roll that out. But that will be May 31st, a virtual commencement ceremony at 1.30 p.m. On June 13th, we will be doing a diploma drive through pickup at Wildcat Stadium. This will allow your student to drive onto uh, the asphalt track surface at Park Family Field at Wildcat Stadium. Uh, they will drive up. They will get their diploma. As they enter the stadium, their name uh, will be announced over the loudspeaker and their slide will be displayed on the scoreboard uh, as they pick up their diploma. Uh, we encourage you to decorate your cars as you drive through in a safe manner, but that will be on June the 13th. And these are the events that we have scheduled to honor the class of 2020. Obviously not what we would like. Uh, we would like to be able to have everybody gathered as one to celebrate our commencement class. Uh, but in speaking with health experts and looking at the trends of, of what this is doing in our community, we just do not feel that it is in the best interest for the safety of, of our students, our staff, our family, and our community to hold any type of large-scale event of that magnitude uh, in our gym. And obviously with the track uh, football stadium surface being under warranty, we're unable to put a stage on our football field so that that is – not really an option that we're able to utilize this year either, unfortunately. So uh, given the circumstances and given what, what we're able to do, these are the events that we are planning. We are excited to celebrate the class of 2020. Um, again, not 
the ideal way we would like to do it. But again, we, we do not want to tarnish the legacy of this class. Uh, these are tremendous young men and young women that we want to celebrate. They have done tremendous things uh, during their time, both at Alpena High School and at Alpena Public Schools. So we still want to honor them and celebrate them in as much of a creative way of, as we can. So we look forward to celebrating the class of 2020. And as always, go Wildcats.